It holds us, and it has our back, literally, all of our life. It lets us walk upright. We don't like talking behind someone's, but we do like it to be strong. Our back. Did you know back means dorsum in Latin? It's the rear side of the body, starting at the neck and ending at the beginning of the behind. Flexible and stable, agile and tough, our back is a piece of work. And as sensitive as a house of cards, right in the middle, you'll find, winding elegantly, our spine. The spine consists of the sacrum, the coccyx, and 24 movable vertebrae. The bones are a lightweight construction only the outside is compact bone matter. The inside structure resembles a sponge, more or less. 300 muscles and numerous bands hold everything together and keep the back mobile. The spine is the most stable part of the human body. What we see when we lean forward are called spinous. They are part of the vertebrae. They help our muscles move. Looking from the side, the spine lies quite far at the back of the body and not in the center. We actually should be tipping over, but why don't we, but walk upright? That's where our back muscles come into play. You can't see them, but they're doing most of the work. The deep muscles along the spine. If you compare it to a ship's mast, it would look kind of like this. Extensor muscles follow the length of the spine in long strains from pelvis to the head. The ship's mast, so to say. The other muscle groups wrap around the vertebrae. They are the sail and pull the back into an erect position. Now to the muscles you can see. It's the largest muscle of our body. The latissimus lies at the sides of the spine and allows slanting movement to the side. It also helps moving our upper arms. You'll feel it when doing pull-ups. Another important back muscle is the trapezius. Its triangular shape resembles an upside-down hood. We need this muscle to turn or lift our head, our arms or shoulders. Back muscles that are in good shape will give you an upright and healthy gait, which is so important to us. An average person will spend seven years of his life sitting in an office chair. Even though our back could carry us every day for at least 30 kilometers, most people won't walk more than five kilometers a day. People with office jobs, even less. Moving too little lets our muscles weaken. Pain, strains, and in the worst case, even a slipped disc can be the result. But what is a disc, actually? It's a flexible but tough little connection between the vertebrae. They sit there just like little pillows. Everyone has 23 of them. They consist mostly of fluid. That's why it's a good thing to drink a lot when you're having back problems. Through the course of a day, your discs have to deal with a lot of pressure. Just like shock absorbers, they cushion jolts to the back and balance any strain. Our lumbar spine can withstand pressure of up to 1.5 tons, the weight of a middle-class car. Lifting a case of water back unfriendly, with straight legs and bent over, submits the little back cushions to a pressure of 23 bar. Just in comparison, a car tire is pressurized with about two bar. Lifting with a straight back and tense abdominal muscles eases the pressure on the discs by 50%. By the way, relaxed standing presses five bar onto your back. A beautiful back is a delightful thing. Many would like to look like this, but then more women suffer from back pain than men. One of the reasons are these, high heels. They hurt the lower back, the lumbar spine. Vacuum cleaning, pregnancy and giving birth 
are further reasons for backaches, according to British researchers. Recent studies show that stress can hurt the back too. Just like the saying, when life gets tough, it can break you. Perhaps a good reason to look at life from a lighter side.